welcome back to the UK Strongest Man here in Belfast with the tall ships. And in keeping with the nautical theme, the next event is the Anchor Pull. You know what, Sam, I'm so excited to see what's going to happen in that event. But before it kicks off, let's see what happened previously. And for the final event of the qualifier, the harness and rope pull. But this time it's not about pulling a vehicle. It's this massive anchor and chain weighing in at 450 kilo to be pulled over a course of 20 meters. The fastest time is gonna win it. And we're gonna see who's gonna reach the final of UK Strongest Man 2009. Well, still a battle for the places. Bertie Clark has definitely gone. But just introducing the Bertie Clark, Andy Kearney and Dave Meir coming up last. They're the three that will go against each other in this uh, anchor and chain pull. Remember, it's 450 kilograms. It's pretty heavy. And uh, I just wondered how Dave um, will get on with this, Dave Meir, with that injured uh, knee. He's really struggled, but he's got a real chance to get through to the final. And it's between him, really, and uh, Andy Kearney. It's a matter of mind over matter, Stu. I, I think he's uh, a, a, an ultimate professional. He loves the game, loves the sport, but knows the risks. So all he, he knows is he's just got to go as far as he possibly can in a physical sense. Well, let's look Kearney in the middle. Oh, and Kearney's gone down. Oh, he's gone down, and it looks as though he's injured. Well, we thought he might be in the last event, and Kearney now looks as though he's gone. And if Dave Meir can survive this, then he's clearly uh, through to the final. He looks pretty good, Stuart. Yeah. He's in the lead at the moment, I think. Yep. yep. It's pretty neck and neck. They're not moving it very far. And is there's another injury. There's an injury again. And they really are starting to get injured all over the place, aren't they? <laughs> well, it's, it's, he, he's, it's a shock that he's actually got through with all the injuries and well Bertie Clark yeah well he's gone anyway but there's the ice pack look at the injuries around here they're yeah. all over the place it's getting tough now Stu yeah Kearney he's down as we saw and Dave Meir well that's um, Bertie Clark who wasn't going to make the final anyway but he's being carried off um, but Dave Meir will go through, that's for sure. And the other two got injured. I think Dave's a happy man that well, he's got through with all the injuries as well. So, uh, But uh, he lives to fight another war. Well, it certainly looked in the last event that uh, Kearney was in trouble. He certainly didn't uh, like the cross uh, lift at all and uh, got very little distance. Paul Carter then. In third place overall. This is Dave Warner. Again, Paul doesn't have to go that and, far. And uh, Jimmy Marku, no, they, they don't actually. And uh, when you look at uh, what's 
what they actually have to achieve, then really not a lot to go through. These three are clear through to the final already. We'll see what happens. And they're off. Jimmy Marku yep. on the left of the shot. No, surely they haven't finished already, yeah. surely. They've all basically... Well, yeah. they've, just, they've just started off and pulled a little, and then they've uh, stopped, and there's no need to go any further, really. So, <laughs> it's <laughs> there's no need, really, to go on. No more. Forget it. <laughs> Paul, Carter around. Around. <laughs> Paul Carter looks around. Paul Carter looks around and says, what, <laughs> what's happening here? Um, Marco is uh, having another go on the near side. Uh, I think he just wants to win the heat, Stuart. Yeah. Make a point. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's the head of that hammer that has to come across the line this end, and it's certainly not going to do that in any case. They're all finding it very difficult indeed. <laughs> and there's a lot of Dave Warner struggling. <laughs> and Paul Carter out, the sh out of shots just uh, really having a little look and see what's going on. Total disarray in this uh, last event, really. And I guess when you think that the situation was almost clear, well, it was certainly clear after the previous heat that uh, Kearney and Bertie Clark have gone. Um, they'll go out, and these three guys will go through to the final. And, They're just uh, having a little bit of fun at the moment, Stuart, and uh, a little light-hearted jest between, between the two of them. And uh, having, yeah. It doesn't really mean anything. There you go. No, it doesn't, and that's, that's called tactics here. Yeah. They've done what they need to do. These are the finals, and they're going through. Well, me and Jimmy were lucky enough to have enough points to, to go through cleanly into the final, so we just uh, uh, thought we'd have a little bit of fun there, try to entertain the crowd a bit, and let the other guys fight it out for the places that were left. But was it a battle for first place, Jimmy? Nah, it's not. It's, uh, we, got, uh, we got different games. He wanted the first place, I wanted to go through. <laughs> There's a fantastic lineup of guys in this final. Um, I think Jimmy's going to have a great final. There's some good events for him, hopefully some decent ones for me, so we're ready for him. But there's the score. Dave Warner, six points. Marku, five. Mir, four. Clark, three. Carter, 1.5. Andy Kearney, 1.5. But overall, there it is. Dave Warner, 45. Jimmy Marku, 44.5. Paul Carter, Dave Mir, uh, those four go through to the final, Andy Kearney goes out, so does Bertie Clark. Well, let's just have a look and see how much uh, weight they moved. Well, Paul Carter certainly shifted the most, didn't he, at 1,365 over Dave Warner and Jimmy Marku and Dave Meir. Those four, though, the top four of the four to go through. But people do get injured, you know, and on this occasion, there were plenty of them. End of day two, and we now know the eight competitors that are going forward to tomorrow's final. We do, but what about Bertie Clark, who suffered a horrific Achilles tendon injury and was took away in an ambulance? But what I can let you know, just to put your mind that he's never won at home, is that he's going to make a full recovery. That's good to know. I've been Sam. And I've been Dan. And we'll see you next time for the final of UK's Strongest Man. So let's bring you up to date with who's in and who's out. Andy Kearney, well, he's out. He tried his best but injury overtook him in the end. And Bertie Clark, he goes out too. A real struggle. Injured, as several of them were. But who's in? Well, Paul Carter's there. Big powerhouse. So is Jimmy Marku, very confident man. Can he do it? And Dave Meir is the next man up. Dave Meir, the big powerhouse, he goes through to the final. Injured though he may be, what a performer.
And finally from this second group, Dave Warner, a real contender. Very strong, and he looks pretty fit, and no sign of injury. Well, that's uh, Group B, but let's just remind ourselves from Group A. Uh, Jay Hughes, he goes through. And so does Glenn Ross. He comes to the final again to defend his title. He won it for the last two years, remember. Still two to go. Richard Smith, he's next up. What an attitude this man had. He would not give in. And Mark Westerby, they've got it. Mark Westerby completes the eight men for the final. And what a final it should be.